Armenian opposition parties resumed protests in Yerevan on Monday, which resulted in massive apprehensions. Protesters marched to the government building in which four ministries are situated and blocked the entrance to the building. The opposition members of the parliament wanted to meet with the ministers to find out their opinion on whether they share or not what they believe to be Prime Minister Nikol Pashinyan's view that Nagorno-Karabakh may be recognized as part of Azerbaijan. On June 3, an extraordinary meeting of the National Assembly will be held at the initiative of the opposition blocs to discuss and vote for a statement ruling out the possibility of any status of Nagorno-Karabakh within Azerbaijan. Before that, the opposition is going to visit different state authorities to find out the officials' position on the statement. The situation today grew extremely tense as police started using brutal force to disperse protesters. Over 100 people have been detained. Some of the active public figures and opposition members of parliament have sustained injuries. None of the ministers, however, agreed to receive the deputies, who were not even allowed to enter the building. Although Armenian law says members of the parliament have the right to enter any state building at any time. The Azerbaijani armed forces grossly violated the ceasefire in the southeastern direction of the Armenian border on May 28. Private David Vartanyan, a serviceman of the Armenian armed forces, was killed. The Armenian Ministry of Foreign Affairs has issued a statement saying this provocation was preceded by destructive, bellicose statements of the President of Azerbaijan, which included insults to the sovereign territory of the Republic of Armenia. The Foreign Ministry urged the Azerbaijani leadership to refrain from provocative actions and rhetoric and fulfill its commitment on establishing security and stability in the region. Russian forces in eastern Ukraine claimed full control of the important battlefield town of Liman on Friday, and Ukraine appeared to concede it. Liman's site of a key railway hub has been a major front line as Russian forces pressed down from the north, one of the three directions from which they have been attacking Ukraine's industrial Donbas region. The Donetsk People's Republic authorities said they were now in full control of it. Alexei Aristovich, advisor to the Ukrainian president, appeared to confirm the fall of Liman in an interview overnight and said the battle there showed that Moscow was improving its tactics. According to unverified data, we lost the town of Liman. The Russian army, this must be verified, captured it, Aristovich said in a video posted on social media.